I'm Jeannie Mellish and today I'm going to show you about light and shade. In this picture I used sand coloured pastel paper. It was Fabriano I think and um, charcoal for the black for the areas for the dark areas and later on I used white chalk. In order to follow me you will need to have something similar. If you had a box of soft pastels that would also work all over you can see the color going through all over the whole whole body i don't obliterate the paper i used white chalk to show the highlights so i used the darks to show the shadows so there for the highlights the sun was coming from this direction and it was from the upper was the, the the sun was high in the sky looking down and lighting up this tummy the arm there the arm there and the hand um, this side of the head and i shaded that side with shadow and this side was highlight and light going on his kneecaps and on his hands the top of his hands and on the top of the chair arm there and there so you can see the big areas of pastel paper show through because when i did the white i also left some white some untouched areas of pastel paper so that the pastel paper is part of the colour scheme. Hello, I'm Muscle. I wish I had somebody to help me to teach you about light and shade. Oh, oh, oh it's Superman. Yeah. Can I help you with muscles or oh, shadows yeah, today? Absolutely, shadows and lights. Uh, how wonderful I'm just I can't wait here's Superman standing on the table in the garden I'm going to walk around him so that I can talk to you about how the shadows and the highlights of his body um, are, are visible today now you can see you can see the light is on the back of Superman's legs um, everything is in light that we can see. I'm walking around him. If you look at the front of his leg, it's in shadow. And the back of his leg is in light. And the hips, the back, his back is lit, the front is not. The back, his back is lit, his tummy is not. The back of his head is lit, the face is not. Underarms is dark, shadow, and the light is on the top of the arms, belly top. And this, the table's lit, and you can see his back foot is lit. Uh, so the light is coming from the right top, and the shadow is the opposite. The lo lower left is the shadow, and higher right is the light. See his light, see his shadow there on the table. Now we're looking, I'm walking around him and so seeing him from different ways. His cloak is lit, um, but it's not blowing. Oh, here we are. His back is lit, it is the front of his hips and his chest is dark can you see that and under his knee is dark at the front and the back of his calves both calves are lit and that's his arm is in shadow he's holding on 
off I go, muscle woman. I hope I've been a big help. Yes. I've got some people to save on the other planet. But remember, everybody, shadow and light are really important in your drawing. Bye-bye now. Ooh. While I was drawing this, we took a series of photos and I'm going to talk about them now. Uh, what I'm doing at this time is drawing Nick in, in a relaxed pose. I, I posed him not lying down or sitting up, but um, as if he was watching TV in a very relaxed way. And so I, I did the central line, which goes down there like that and like that. And that's, that's his head. And then down for his, and then the, the, his feet are that way. And the central line is what I do often. When I see a, pay, see a pose, I think its gesture is like that and like that. And I, like you might, that's how I saw his, the pose sloping and curving and and so the central line is not exactly the spine but it follows the spine it begins with the head follows the spine and goes on to the feet um and what i'm doing at this moment to get the shadow just there and now here's my ch chocolate very light soft and you can smudge it with a finger and i put shadow behind his ear can you see that's his ear and the shadow just below his ear and I'm just doing the shadow underneath his chin. He's got a beard of course, you may have noticed. And we'll start painting. And I put shading lines on half his face, half is in shadow, half is in highlight. And I started to shade the, the arm and then the hand, his left arm, his left hand and there's his knee a bit bumpy, there's his other knee and there's a bit of smudge gone on there and a shadow underneath by his left, by his right breast and another shadow down there at the back of his right arm and shadow behind his right shoulder. Okay, you can still see the line, the central line, occasionally the central line but it, it doesn't matter, it just helped me to get the flow or else I might have made him sit up too much and be a bit too angular. I wanted a, a flowing pose. That, I'm getting it really black in there and really black in there and black in there and black in there and the end of there and then be, beside his left knee and beside his right knee as well. I'm getting near to finishing what I wanted to do the dark the very darks and I'm letting the the, the sand colored paper um, show through the sand color is part of the paint uh, part of the drawing this is the moment when I take my white chalk to do, draw in the highlights I want you to join me in putting in the highlights too so take a screen copy or go to my blog to copy, then print this picture to work on. The blog address is in the description below. And I'll be doing a bit more down his arm, right down, but not down into the shadow. And I've begun to have some there and on his beard and on that side of his face. And that's, um, coming to near to how I really wanted it. The, the, the shadow by underneath his left arm and deep shadow by his um, on this side of his chest and deep shadow down by his thigh and the side of his knee and down there and and on the chair I put in the chair a bit. Okay. And the highlights? And the highlights this on the chest and on the stomach and on the side, this top of his knee and the top of his, that other knee and down that side, the top of his arm there, but not the bottom. So there's a bit of untouched there, which 
also is part of the drawing. The untouched bits become part of the drawing. I'm darkening that side, this side of the face. And here we are. So that is the highlight. And on the top of his arm is highlighted, top of his hand, and the top of that hand and the top of that arm. The chair arm is wood and shiny, and I put it quite sharp, sharp shy highlights. And highlight on his, on his knee, if you press harder, you get more of a solid colour. So sometimes I press very lightly, like here, just very lightly, which gives like a half tone of, of light. And if I want it really bright, I put very hard on his kneecaps so that they come out more white and on the shine of the chair more white. So, so I have shown you how the, the highlights together with the shadow help to make the figure feel rounded and shaped and it helps to make his body feel um, chunky full of muscles and fat and, um, and his arms they, you can almost feel the weight of that arm there and, and that arm there, a bit too tight on his, uh, around the top of his t-shirt, but it wasn't really that tight. It's just, a, it's just a quick sketch that just has to show the, show the, the two things mainly is the way the deep shadow, um, try and get the shape of the deep shadow. Think for the shape when you see the shadow. It's not just a blob, it's a shape. So you, if you get the shape and then you get the highlights, you, you get these, these folds in the cloth. And so that's another thing you can look for. Can't look for everything, but I help to show you certain things you can look for when you're doing drawing from life. This is not from, um, from TV. It's when you can see the body is heavy and shaped and is right in front of you. That's a Send me your work you have done on my picture and also um, draw a picture of your housemate showing light and shade and send that also to me. Send me a copy to, send me a copy to the uh, email address in the description below. Goodbye, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Yes! Jimmy, Jimmy, the colorful world of Jimmy. Goodbye, thank you for watching. Goodbye.